I am from Sweden, Stockholm. My father is from Ethiopia, my mother's from south of Sweden, from a place called Skåne. They weren't married for a very long time, so uh, I was raised by my mother, uh, more or less, because my father is a musician, so he's been sort of touring the world and traveling, and, but coming back uh, to me with great stories. So I was always fascinated by his, his life and what he does, and, and uh, I'm very much my father's girl, as you can see. I belong to you Because my life is better since I do My dad's name is Tishoma Mitiko. We are so alike in so many ways. Like He started as a 15-year-old touring Ethiopia and East Africa with his band, The Soul Echoes. His band was the band in the early 60s. I used to have a really big hit. Uh, when I was only 17, 18, 90 years old. So it's crazy how history can repeat itself. But I'm really proud of my dad and, and uh, the fact that he is in, really important for the world music scene. I'm a big, big girl in a big, big world. I got to know Lasse Andersson, and he's the son of Stickan Andersson who uh, was the fifth member of ABBA. I was 18 years old by a, I know, a bass player, a friend of mine. He said, hey, I know this fellow down in the basement. He's a bit, woo, <laughs> but a good guy and he knows music. And I think you should, uh, should call him. And uh, being young, I just said, yeah, I will. Yeah, he signed me like that. And I like him. I'm also a bit cuckoo, so we just <laughs> connected there, I guess. <laughs> And uh, we wrote the first album uh, with Big Big World on it and uh, two, three years it took. I was um, working um, in a clothes store during that time just to sort of be able to afford my very expensive hobby. And then actually when we released Big Big World, like a week after, it took off. Our next act from Sweden. She's taken time off from her studies and her Saturday job to perform with us just here tonight. It's going to be a big, big hit. It's Amelia. I'm a big, big girl in a big, big world. It's not a big, big thing if you leave me. It took me around the world and I was traveling for two years doing promotion and, and sort of learning what it is to be a pop star, I guess. I mean, there's no really education for it, but I, I got the best education. After Big Big World, I was still a young woman <laughs> and I wanted to see more, you know, leave my comfort zone. And I went to Berlin and in Berlin, I didn't know the language. So I was like a child again, sort of, ha, ah, I want that, but I can't say it. Do you understand it, my body language? <laughs> and that actually made me aware of my Swedish. And I went back to Sweden and I made an album in Swedish, uh, which was slower, um, loungier, sort of more intimate, not so, not so pop. Uh, and I think that's what triggered Anders, Anders Hansson, my now producer, partner, songwriter. Because I've known him for 10 years, like way back. And he asked me, so what do you want to do? What are you? And that's basically where we started. Um, leaving all the old behind, you know, um, not playing safe um, and uh, listening to what your heart tells you. My album, I Belong To You, is 10 original songs uh, written by me uh, together with Anders Hansson and Sharon Vaughan. And Sharon, meeting her, now she's a dear friend of mine. She's originally from Nashville, now living in Stockholm. She is just fabulous. I mean, the way she, she, the way she can put words together, make it in, you know, something very simple seem, you know, it's poetry what she does, basically. I woke up dreaming, I was walking down a gangplank on a ghostly pirate ship. If I would explain it 
like, like an elevator pitch, I would probably go, hey, it's called Vintage Pop. Alongside my ten original songs, I've also recorded two covers, and that is my tribute to sort of the vintage era. Two beautiful, beautiful, beautiful songs, and one of them is again. Again. This couldn't happen again. Again, came into my life. Not so long ago, I was actually in my kitchen cooking and I had the radio on and all of a sudden it's like again this doesn't happen again. I, I just froze and it turned out to be Doris Day and then that whole night I think I stopped cooking and just went online and sort of <laughs> had it on YouTube going over and over again. It just felt like the song was just a perfect, perfect song and I fell in love with it. And then the other song is Dream a Little Dream of Me. I've known that my whole life. It doesn't get better than Ella, I think, but uh, I've, uh, I've flavored it sort of in my way and it, it's nice. Stars shining bright above you Night breezes seem to whisper I love you Birds singing my hopes for the future, well it's been a long time of, of recording, writing songs, sort of in the studio jamming together with Anders and Sharon. Um, and I love that part, don't get me wrong here, but I, I think a, a song comes to life when you have listeners, when you're out there performing. And, and that's really, really what I would like to do. I'm, I'm happiest when my bag is packed and I'm on the road with my musicians. You know, it could be a very small, intimate place or a concert hall. I'm, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I hope that's in my future.